Hot box. Hot box. How do you spell it? Where do you find you online? Greek Town Hot Box on Instagram. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. This, this is the smallest one and the guy's holding up. <laughs> it's crazy. The biggest stick it broke. But the small one.
dope, right? Same old, same old. What, what's your name again? Green Town Hot Box. No, your, your first name. Uh, Trap. No, your name's Chap? What's yeah, your name? Yep. Aaron. Aaron. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean honestly, I just, just I, I'm, I'm thinking of the next song when I'm, when I'm playing yeah. the previous song. It was like, so I'm kind of, kind of just jumping from song to song. What if I interviewed you guys right now? And that would be cool. Introduce yourself. Who are you individually and who are you corporately? Okay. I'm Aaron. I'm Dion Forrest. Together, we're a hot box. And uh, how long have you guys, uh, or, or hot box, you know, I, I see you got a, you got a saxophone on, and, and beneath you, it looks like some bucket drums. So, so explain yourselves. <laughs> what, what have you guys got going on here? So pretty much, we're the premier street band of the city. We uh, go out and we perform at all the street venues, right outside all the big venues in the city, and uh, try to turn it into a party, basically. And um, with what I got here going, I have uh, what I got here going. I uh, built a drum set off of pots and pans. But see, I'm a different person when I play them. I'm act when I play them, I'm actually trapezio. But um, when I'm not drumming, I'm Dion Forrest. Uh, I changed to a whole another person when I'm on them. But together, we're the Hot Box Greek Town Hot Box on Instagram. Um, we've been together for about six years or now, more. Now, where 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 does the name a Greek Town? Cause you know, there's the Greek town kind of borough of Detroit. Yes. Well, see, when we started in Greek town, we uh, earned a name from giving back to the community, as in when people needed something, they would come to us. Hmm. When homeless guys needed something, we'd look out there, they all come to us. So they started calling us the king of Greek town, the kings of Greek town. So we changed our name Hotbox to the Greek town hmm. Hotbox because, you know, everybody look up to us down there. Now, now where does Hotbox, that, that term, come from? Um, we smoke a lot of weed. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> so we kind of, you know, go, you know, laid back kind of group, you know. We don't, ain't nothing to hide, you know. But, uh, yeah, that's where it come from, Herbal Essence. <laughs> herbal Essence. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, so you got a sax. I, I'm not much of a sax expert. Is that like a tenor, an alto? Or so it's an alto sax that I'm playing. Um like to play all types of different music, uh, like all ones? all different genres, uh, different ranges. Uh, try to be very versatile. Uh, I play melody. I play bass. I play uh, pretty pretty much any part of the song to make the song carry and to make mm. it sound full. And together, I mean, we create a full band. I mean, honestly, I feel like we got el every element that we need to make a band. So when we get out and we perform, I mean, crowd will tell you they wouldn't see otherwise. Jimi Hendrix only needed three people. Greek Town Hotback only needs two people. So eat your heart out, Jimi Hendrix. Uh, <laughs> now, now, do you guys, do you, I, I, you guys have a, a vast repertoire of, of songs. Uh, certainly, a lot of ones you recognize, you know, because they're, they're covers. Now, do you guys have any original, any original melodies? Certainly, you, got, you have original. Uh, yeah, I make every, I make every beats up every, as we go. We never practice. This is practice. Um, I make every beats up as we go. Um, this is, we really don't practice, so I kind of freestyle every beat. Um, I just know him very well. I can sense what he's doing next. Now, now, uh, what what music do you guys listen to? Um, with us being um, artists, we kind of listen to everything. We listen to all genres. That way, we can reach every person. Um, you know, one person might like R and B. But we uh, DJ our way into an R&B song, into a pop rock, into a, we can play everything. We we, we kind of DJ our way to it without stopping. Now you personally, who, who's like the best band of all time? Like number one Roots. in the world? The Roots. Like Quest yes. Love is kind of like drug in the field. Yes, that's, that's uh, a lot of people compare me to Quest Love. Like the well, Soul Quarians, you know, that whole group. Yes. He's like a one name name. He did that that uh, album. It took like five years to make. Uh. uh damn, what's the guy's name? Mm. Any, anyways, uh. Oh man, I forget the guy's name. Well, come to me after him. Yes. yes. What, what about you, Pastor Mike? Uh, so, like, what what music do you listen to? And then, who's the best band in um, your opinion? I'm, I'm very versatile. I like all type, all different genres of music. I really don't really stick to a certain type. I like to be open minded. Um, as far as my favorite artist, my favorite sax player, I would say 
I like James Carter. He's a he's a local guy actually from Detroit. Tremendous, tremendous sax player. So I would love to meet him. I I seen him play live once before in a small setting. So I would love to catch up with him again and see what we can hash out. <laughs> oh, you're now now we we've talked about the past. We've talked about the present. Let's talk about the future. What do you expect? And what do you what are your hopes, goals, plans, dreams, and hopes? What do you want? For we want to be the first two-man street performer group to play with a rapper or singer to get signed with a label or something um i can i i can um blend in with any type of artist my brother and i are a duo you, your brothers yes what my you know <laughs> basic basically family you know not everybody got it all so you know once that one person come around and um you know and you like you, you know that's my family you don't never change that title but um we want to be the first, uh, the first group to get signed to a rapper or singer, any type of singer, as long as it go good with our vibe. Something like Daft Punk, you know, that's who we're similar to. When I sound, when I'm on the microphone, um, and he's next to me, we can be similar to Daft Punk group, the duo. You guys are brothers, man. Now, dare I ask, who's the older, who's the younger? Oh, he's older. I'm younger. <laughs> No, we're not blood, but oh, okay. but you know not everybody have it all, all of their family members like that. But you know, so he picked me up like I'm his little brother and never let me go. Now, do you guys come from musical families, or are you kind of like the black sheep of the family, like the only yeah. like artistic? Yes. Or? Yeah. Yep. So explain again, explain yourselves. Like, if you're if you're kind of unique in your family, like how did that start with each of you? Well, the thing is, I, I I had a hard grow up because when people ask me what I wanted to be when I grow up, I couldn't tell them. I didn't know what I wanted to do. I, it'd be weird as making a burger when I'm a drummer. You could do nothing else but this. this yeah, I'm a thing. I'm a beast at this. Yeah. And and like from a child, like were you hitting? Were you were you banging? Yeah, I used to get slapped in the mouth in in church every time I beat on the back of the pew. <laughs> Yeah, I was tapping on everything. I, I tap on stuff now. Now, <laughs> let me tell you a story you may or may not know. I, I've got a friend. He's grown up here in Detroit uh, since, like, the 50s. You guys know about Stevie Wonder and Eastern Market? I know who Stevie Wonder is, but I know the story behind it. You guys, he used to play here in okay. the 50s. Wow. Now, this is a spot you guys should play at, if only to give him a nod. But Stevie Wonder, you know Burt's Barbecue? Mm -hmm. Before it was Burt's, it was a liquor store back okay. in the 50s. He used to play there. He used to, I, I call him Stevie Wonder OG Bucket Drummer. He was the wow. original Bucket Drummer. He would play on top of his hands in front of a liquor store that's now Burt's Barbecue. Wow. And he would sing. And I talked, I literally got, I talked on the phone to the guy who saw him do that. Yeah. And I said, was he playing originals or covers? And he's like, he hadn't written any originals at that time. And he wasn't Stevie Wonder. But that was a name given to him by Motown Records. Yeah. And I said, well, was he remunerated? Was he paid? He's like, yeah, people threw him pennies and nickels. That's how long ago it was. Pennies wow. and nickels. And you guys are getting paid and, and singing exactly, the exactly. pennies and nickels. Yeah. Yes. Back in the 50s. Wow. For Burt's Barbecue, I think you guys <laughs> should play That's for there. Yeah, uh, I, I, we, we actually, um, yeah. we're very known for Burt's. We did uh, Martha Reed's birthday party about two three years ago we had uh did her whole her we was the whole musical basically on stage um for her birthday party uh it was on the news and everything i have pictures and all of it um it was a wonderful event to be a part of the mo one of the motown greatest yeah now you was testing like uh, uh, uh as a child like what was your creative uh origin like um, you know getting involved in music and just creativity in general Honestly, growing up in the city, I mean, it's, it's just a lot of a lot of musical roots. So I mean, we had good radio, good music around, and I got a big family. So when it came down to it, we always listened to all different types of music. And the saxophone was just an instrument that always stuck out to me as like a, a tone that's just was just beautiful. And I mean, it's, it felt good. And when I initially tried to join the band, the band director he actually said, "You know what?" I'm, I don't think you should play saxophone. You don't like a saxophone player to me. You like a baritone player. I'm like, well, I don't know what a baritone is, but I want to play saxophone. So he went with me like, okay, I'm going to give you a chance. 
And I, I went with it. And it's crazy enough, because years later, I ended up picking up baritone. And I'm pretty good at that, too. So, <laughs> you know, it was just it was just one of those things. I felt like I wanted it bad enough. It was, it was kind of destiny. As far as how I started doing this, I mean, honestly, I had friends that was in college. We all went to school together, and they were good. And I wanted to keep up with them. I had to have motivation to, you know, to keep doing what I did. So I stuck around guys that did the same things that I did. So when with them still being in school and still developing, it made me feel like, okay, if they're still developing, they're playing every day. I need to play more. So I started coming downtown and started meeting guys. And eventually I met Dion, and then we became a band ourselves. So, you know, that was history in the making. Now, I want to keep doing this with you guys maybe week in, week out, especially as the summer yeah. goes on. Yeah. But maybe a couple more questions for, before we wrap up for, the, for this first session. Um, uh, and then you can, you can watch it and see, see how it goes and then carry yourself maybe differently or the same on camera next time. Yeah. So you guys have played indoors, you played outdoors. Yes. We just uh, played with, uh, we, just was on st we just was on stage with Coco and Trick Trick two days ago um, at uh, Spain High School. Oh, uh, no, Spain Middle School. Yeah. Spain Middle School. We didn't know Trick Trick was going to be there, but we knew Coco was going to be there. They didn't tell us Trick Trick was going to be there until he was standing right next to me, bro, like, hey, there go Trick Trick. I said, who? <laughs> who he said, I said, look back. I said, oh, snap. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, we, we go on stage quite a bit. We just want to be on the big, we want to be noticed. We want to be able to, everybody to know who we are. Now, now I, I, look, at, I look at playing on, on stage and playing on the street. Playing on the street is like a race. Yeah. And playing on stage is like a, I remember, play, playing on, on the stage is like a race and playing on the street is like a marathon. Exactly. You have to pace yourself when you're out here. Now, yeah. Clearly you guys are, aren't really listening to that advice. <laughs> you, you, go, you, you go 150% all the time. But, oh, yeah. In my opinion, I mean, to me, the difference between playing on the stage and playing out here, playing on the stage, it's like it's a lot of rehearsal. You do it one time and then it's over. Out here, we it's kind of one and the same. It. It's it's the performance and the rehearsal, you know. So I, I'm pushing myself to the same degree as I would in rehearsal, hmm. but I'm, it's like a live rehearsal, you mm -hmm. know. And you get to see the the, 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 the element in, in, in evolution while it's going on because we try to develop our music as we go. We don't really try to communicate as, as much as you would think, you know, to make it happen. So, you know, a lot of our ideas are kind of, as far as bridging and segueing in between songs are really original as we go while we're playing with each other, so. Now, what about, oh. What about you? Difference between playing on stage, playing on the street. Um, on on stage, um, on stage, um, I get a. So I assume you have a regular drum set on stage, but on the street you got the bucket. So maybe I'm well, wrong. Well, I do the same. I do the same wherever I go. This is my. I'm retired on a um, drum set. Interesting. Um, when we get when we get with signed to a producer or something then i'll show them the drums mm. but um i consider myself uh complete on the drums i'm i'm uh on to something else uh if they if they see me on the pots then they know i'm a professional on the drums man all right well any 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 closing bit of wisdom before we before we sign off for the day today any you you can find us at G R E E K T O W N H O T B A X um, on Instagram. Our booking number is 313 873 1106. Ask for the hot box. Thank right, you. And you any, any closing wisdom? Any, anything to leave the folks at home? Um, just love music. It's a lifestyle, not just a, not just a hobby. And, and, then, and then your names one more time before we sign off. I'm Aaron. I'm Dion. They call me Trap. Together we're Hot Box.
Thank you, bro. Thank you. Thank you for, for, for the time. Thank you, man. Yes, sir.